There's a new firmware update for MIDI Carp V5, and it brings a new way to interact with musical time. No other sequencer works this way, and it will revolutionise the way you interact with musical time. To find out more and download the latest V5 firmware now, go to midicate.com. Central to the new update is a complete rework of note timing. This frees you completely to create timing patterns that you can't normally create with digital sequencers. It opens up new possibilities. Going beyond the standard divisions of 2, 3 and 4, you can choose any time factor between 1 and 16. This subdivides a MIDI bar by that factor. 13 beats in a bar? Sure. You can modify the time divisions too in real time, either incrementally or exponentially. You want 13 beats in 26 bars? You got it. Without maths, without theory, and without an intricate setup. Just easy. Each channel's timing is independent. 7 beats, and 6 beats, and 10 beats, sure, and all at the same time. You can still delay the timing too, add timing grooves, and modulate the time division to create truly intricate depth. The killer though, it's all still deterministic so you'll never lose that awesome pattern you just made. Watch this video for a deeper dive into the new time parameters. The V5 firmware update for MIDI-Kick Art brings new ways to play art with your keyboard too. ARP's default mode for arpeggiation is both unique and awesome. It maintains musical rhythm regardless of the selected chord and can help you create amazing melodies. However, if you want to use ARP like a classic arpeggiator for your synths, now you can. The scale will be built using the exact notes you play. And of course, you can still use all of ARP's amazing sequence generating capabilities. The steps parameter, however, is overridden by the number of notes you play on the keyboard. You can also now select and play chords or scales in one finger mode. Play single keyboard notes and ARP will set the chord for the sequence depending on the selected chord button. You can also assign MIDI CC controls to the chord selection buttons. You can now create MIDI keyboard zones that ARP uses for note input. This enables MIDI keyboards and controllers to be used for multiple things. For example, one hand can play ARP, leaving the other free to play a melody, or a bass line. By popular demand, we've added a power button, a soft power button. Simply press and hold stop and ARP will power down. If you press any button then, ARP will power back up again. The new firmware update for MIDI Cake ARP also allows more ways to control your performance. ARP's controller knobs have been tuned to be more predictable. They have an acceleration to make fast edits or fine adjustments easy. ARP's macro controller now sends MIDI CC messages. Assign them to MIDI CC in real time and set latch or momentary for the push buttons and you're golden. You can control external gear directly from ARP. In the global menu, you can now choose which MIDI output ports are enabled. This is handy when you have input devices that you don't wish to receive MIDI data.
In set mode, you can now hold the parameter button to select different parameters with the up and down button, or just press to toggle through the parameters. To find out more and download the latest v5 firmware now, go to midicate.com. <laughs>